Hi, John. How are you? The, the interview bucket list just got one shorter. Wouldn't it be terrible if I was talking about somebody else? That's right. Like Louis here and Jim Gaffigan. Yeah, exactly. Not you. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to push you out of the way if one of them comes to fill the time until we get to that. But what I would love to know, I just saw John Stewart's film Rosewater, and I think it's amazing that through his work on The Daily Show, that story came to him yeah. and he was so affected by it. So I'm wondering, in your time now having your own show, you know, last week, tonight, how have stories affected you and sort of shaped your views already? Well, that is a good question. I don't know. I mean, some of the stories we've looked at, I guess, have already affected me. Um, we did a piece about translators uh, for the US Army, and uh, that I had a little experience of because my wife had a translator who's still in, in Baghdad. And so that I was already quite emotionally connected to that. But yeah, we 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 generally gravitated towards doing pretty miserable stories. So each week is really a question of just trying to find something funny in something appalling. And I think I speak for a lot of people when I say, in the gloom and doom of the news today. The light is that we get to look forward to your show and oh. see how you're going to talk about it. So how do you feel about that? That is pressure I'm not willing to accept. Yeah. <laughs> but also probably the fact that people sometimes wait a week to get their actual news from you. If they, they do, the whole planet is screwed. Well, I think that's saying something. People trust more satirical humor. I don't know if they do. And I think that might speak more to traditional news people's failings than comedian success. But, but I think there's a technique to the way it's presented so effectively. Yeah, yeah but it's comedy though. Like, yeah, it's different lanes. So I, I don't really think there's much crossover. This was a risk for you. I mean, it was a risk for HBO, yeah, but... A big risk for HBO. <laughs> Not really, because basically yes. all summer you were auditioning and you did such a wonderful no, job. No, I don't agree with that. I was no. just trying to not mess up my job there. So, no, it all happened very fast. It's been so successful. I mean, the clips after the show are right. up. Yeah, They're crazy. going viral. So do you kind of feel validated already? Um, look, I'm a comedian. Nothing validates me. <laughs> I hate myself. So, <laughs> so it's going to take a lot more than some successful YouTube clips to make me feel good about myself. But, but being here tonight, I'm sure. This is great. This, this is, is worth something. Yes, exactly. Yes, yeah. Great. Well, thank you so Lovely much. Lovely to meet you. you Thanks a lot. Cheerio. Yeah.